Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's Meal Prep Monday. So it's Monday, uh, October the 10th, and I am meal prepping some uh, butternut squash. I am doing Whole30, so of course, with Whole30, I have to have food. And if I don't have food, I cannot be successful. So I started back uh, traditional Whole30, uh, October the 10th. This is the fourth day. And I can tell that I am starting to have some cravings. And it's not from anything particular then. I just don't have enough food prepped. And at this point in the journey, it's so easy to just grab something like, oh, okay, well, I'll start tomorrow. Or tomorrow is here. We don't have time for tomorrow. So I'm working on um, the um, butternut squash. These were in the pantry closet. We had them in there for a long time are just about at the end of their lifespan so i've got to get it prepped and um in the oven it's up on that would you put it on 425 please so i'm going to do these like i would do sweet potatoes i don't have sweet potatoes i'm all out of those but i'm going to roast these in the oven sister's working on some other some white potatoes that we had that needed to be used because uh, they are at the end of their life cycle and then Jackson, I'm gonna need a, a pan, a oh. pan for this. And um, I've got some sausage in the in the sink that is um, thawing. So one of the things um, that is different for us this year is everybody's out of the house um, every day, right? We're all out of the house every single day from work and school. And so with that, our meals, you know, where the kids might have been able to get meals done ahead of time, or at least some stuff prepped for when I got home, uh, it would just been easier. Now, we don't have that luxury. Right? We don't have that luxury. So that just means that I'm short of meals and I got to get it done. Now, Monday is my uh, ladies meeting day. I don't like to do anything on Monday, but I don't have to meet until eight. And it's just about 5.22. I'm getting a later start than I would have liked. I, did, I had a dentist appointment uh, earlier. My teeth hurt, but the doctor said they looked good. I'm not a dentist person, so that was a blessing. Um, I would prefer to not right the lady did uh, i went to a new place oh um, i went to the place that did my crowns i'm not ever going back to that other place i went to before um i had a very poor experience there and i'm just not going to go back but these um they were they were they were fine it was perfect all right so i've got the butternut squash i had two one was bad so we just went ahead and tossed that one um, Jackson is going to make some sweet potato gnocchi. And um, so I had one sweet potato left. And then sister's putting in potatoes. Where's my cabbage? I have a cabbage that needs to come out. Now, you guys have seen me do cabbage and sausage before with onions. I do not like my cabbage that way. So I'm going to do the sausage in with the uh, poly rice. What can come out? I'm gonna wash my hands. Not sure if that stir fry is any good anymore. We'll have to check it. Anything that can come out, let's get it out so I can figure out what we need, what we have going on here. Right. So I'm a pan. I know somebody said they wanted to see what I was cooking, so I'm gonna just lean down a little. So y'all can see how I'm working this thing out. There you go. So this is just um, butternut squash. I'm gonna put on some gloves so I don't have to keep washing my hands. I'm gonna put this in the gnocchi with maybe some sausage. What is it? See if it's still good. This one is Oh, 
What is it? So I've got the butternut squash. And this is a cutting board, just in case anybody had questions. This is a clear cutting board. I've had it forever. Okay. So we've got the oven going. We've got the Instant Pot going. But there's still probably more things. I think there's some strawberries that can already be pre-cut. Let's go ahead and cut those so they can be eaten and not go bad. So here are my butternut squash. I'm going to put some oil on these. I'm going to season them, and then they're going to go straight into the oven. Nuts are fine. Take the nuts out. What didn't close right? Okay, this is going in the oven at um, 400, is it 400, John? 425. 425 for about 30 minutes, and we'll see how it looks after that. And I got this that needs to go in there. This from the ribs.
pan, please. You know what? Another frying pan. Okay, I've cut up six sausages. These are the uncured andouille sausage and then I had some uncured Italian sausage. I got them on a discount um, a while back and so I'm using those for just to make some ready-made meat. I do have to wash off this. Again, that is a, um, this is a um, cutting board. It's just glass. So I'm gonna wash this down in just a second. Jackson has gotten some oil on for me. And I'm very simply gonna just throw in, I'm going to throw in the sausage here into this pan just to get it nice and brown because it is not cooked. Jackson is working on a sweet potato, something that he's doing, working on a sweet potato. This is our uh, cauli rice, greens, and tomato tomatoes. I had just a little bit of um, ribs meat left just a time i mean it wasn't even a serving and i just threw that in there that'll make a good side dish or actually for me it makes a whole meal Okay, now that this is going, I'm gonna get a cabbage cut, cut up because I've got a cabbage that needs to go in the Instant Pot when the potatoes come out. This, we put some broth in. We did not season it because the greens were seasoned, so we didn't wanna make it too, too salty or whatever. This is just gonna go for a little bit. I'm just gonna let this go to brown. And I'm gonna get busy cutting up the cabbage. Sister is doing dishes. Um, Alana doesn't enjoy cooking as much as Jackson and I do. She will cook, but she doesn't love it. So um, normally she helps with the cleanup and then Jackson and I usually do the cooking. She can cook just as good as I can. But again, you know, she does not love to do it. Jackson's taking a culinary class. I wouldn't say he loves it either, but he's learning new things and he wants to try stuff he's learned in his class. So he'll come home and try a recipe very easily or quickly. I do try to move this to clean underneath of it.
There we go. All right, I've got some nice green leaves. So I'm gonna keep those green leaves. Remember what I told you, you cannot bam your cabbage. It will not take the core out. This is a cabbage, not a lettuce. You can do that to a lettuce, not a cabbage. All right, we're gonna core this cabbage. People have talked about eating the core. My grandmother never did that. She never allowed us to do it. So it's not something we grew up doing. If you love it, you eat it. Um, we don't and we didn't. I am gonna throw this in a colander and wash it. I would throw it in my sink without any hesitation. But Alana is washing dishes right now, and this is not a too big of a cabbage is that it will fit in the colander. I'm not gonna use butter in this because butter's not allowed on Whole30, but I do have some ghee, and I do have some, um, uh, olive oil. So I'm going to use that. I'm gonna go and get this washed and then into the Instant Pot as soon as the um, potatoes are done. I'm gonna keep my outer leaves, but I'm gonna take this middle stem out. The kids and I actually picked up, here. We actually went to Home Depot yesterday and we were able to pick up some, some plants that we think we can still get in the ground before our first official freeze date is between November the 8th and December the 12th. We really don't get a freeze and I don't think it's gonna freeze by November. Um, I don't think it will freeze in December, but you know, you never can tell. But we are gonna um, get, so we have, we've got some cauliflower, we got some cabbage. I think, what else did we get? I forget, but as soon as I, uh, Get ready to plant, we will film that as well. Okay, I'm gonna wash those leaves separately because they need a little bit more attention. Okay, sometimes the reason I wash it in my sink is because I get more surface area covered with the things that need to be cleaned. All right, y'all, I wanted to show y'all that from Jackson real quick. Jackson put together that um, dough ball very quickly. 
he's becoming very good at uh, using what they learn in their class. Jackson, you want to explain how you did that? Um, yeah, so it was fairly simple. All you really have to do is uh, wash a sweet potato, poke some holes in it, microwave it for five minutes, add as much flour as needed, and knead the ball into the dough into a ball. Soon I'm gonna shape it into a disc and then cut it into fours and throw it out. And who knew we would need a, a roller, rolling pin, and I got rid of the rolling pin. We have had that rolling pin here for years and years and years and never used it. Now he's taking a culinary class and they rolling stuff. And mom got rid of the rolling pin. Oh well. Whoopsie. Of course you can use more or less sweet potato, but I just only use one because it's only eating it. Sister may want to try it. Okay, maybe she won't. Alana's not adventurous in food. <laughs> Jackson will try anything. Sister, uh, it's a no for her. I need to put some watching in here. I make the line as even as possible. Okay, while he's working on that, my sausage are now nice and cooked. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some date syrup over this, 100% dates, so that it gets a little bit of sweetness. Grab my other phone or just grab this one, it doesn't matter. We can come back. Jackson, I'm not sure about these. Mm. Probably not. Let's not do those, Jackson. Let's not. Okay. Mushrooms, I don't think they're good because they were already on the sale when I went to get them. And they've been sitting in. There's some different mushrooms down there. That would be okay. Some shiitake. This um, needs a lot. This is no, 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 a lot. No. A lot. Mm -hmm. I would like for you to get some film. Oh, All right, y'all. So here it is. We are done. We have. Well, we're done with what we're gonna do. 
right? I think we should just have some stuff that's ready in a veil. We've got potatoes. We have um, poached pears and that juice, we're gonna drink that, right? We made a uh, use that uh, sparkling water, sparkling water. Uh, and we're gonna just let those poached up, uh, uh, pears poach. It was a Whole30 recipe that I found. So we're doing that. That's done. That's still going in the crock pot. We got the sausages done. We have the cauli rice, greens, and the tomatoes. We have, uh, this is butternut squash. We drizzled it with a little bit of date syrup. Jackson's gnocchi. Those are tomatoes. And then over here, in here we have steamed cabbage. It um, has been slow releasing for 17 minutes, but it still needs to quick release. So we're gonna get that out and then I'll show you what that looks like. This is all the dishes that we have left. We've washed up pretty much everything. I've got some meat in here uh, thawing out as well, but it's not thawed out. And then there's some blueberries over there. And this is the steamed cabbage. This is two minutes steam, two minutes, one large cabbage. So that's what we got done today.